Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a fall tutorial with the new Morphe 350 palette. I have been dying to get my hands on this because it's been sold out for so long, but I think Jaclyn Hill was the one who posted about it on Twitter that they had it back in stock, so I immediately went on the website and within like five minutes I ordered it. So I've been loving it. I've been doing lots of different looks with it. Um, it's just a great palette for fall. It's got so many really pretty warm colors and there's so many different looks you can do with it. So yeah, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial using these colors right here and then I'm also going to be doing three different lip colors with it. They're all going to be different shades of purple but the darker, you know, fall purples. So I have three different kinds that you'll see at the end that I wear with the, um, the makeup look. Right now I just have a nude gloss on, but you'll see the three different purples at the end of this video. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and please leave me a comment down below. I'll have all of the products that I use in this video listed down below for you guys so you can check that out. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Okay, so here is the Morphe 350 palette. It is so gorgeous. Um, I am going to start off with a transition color, so I'm just going to go ahead and use this like light taupey, um, like sand color right here. And I'm just going to buff that in the crease all over as my transition shade. This shade right here. And I'm going to take my Morphe. Um, M412 brush. So I'm just going to go back and forth in the crease. I'm not really going to blend this all over my eye like I did with the transition shade right before. I'm just going to really concentrate this color on directly on the crease. So then I'm going to take this brown shade at the bottom right here. And we're just going to put that on the outer part of our crease. So again, I'm going to just take the same brush. Just the outer V of your eye. And that's just going to deepen up the look. So now I'm going to go ahead and take this color right here, which is kind of like a champagne color, it's sparkly and shimmery, and I'm going to pack that color all over the lid. So I'm going to use my Morphe M12 brush. It just looks like this, and it's really easy to pack product on the lid, so I definitely love this brush. And I'm just going to pack that all over the lid just to brighten up the eye. Because we have so many dark colors all over it, so this is just going to brighten it up. And that's really pretty. You can even, um, you know, wet your brush with some Fix Plus and it'll be more pigmented, but I think I'm just going to use it dry because it's really coming out beautifully. I mean, I don't even think I need the the Fix Plus, but that is a little trick. Alright, now I'm going to take my blending brush, which I used in the beginning for my transition shade, and it's just the Mirabella Eye Blender. I use this like every single video. I got it in an Ipsy bag, and I've just always been so obsessed with it. So I'm going to go back with that transition color that we used in the beginning, and just kind of blend everything in nicely. I'm going to go in and just take this white color right here and I'm going to take my Morphe M124 again. I'm just going to pop that right on the inner, inner corner right here. And that's just really going to brighten up the look. I'm going to go back with my Morphe M412 brush like that. <clears throat> I'm going to take that dark shade that we put in the outer V and I'm just going to pop a little bit more on. I kind of covered it up with all those other colors so I just want to make sure that 
and kind of put a little bit back on the eye. So it just creates more definition. And you don't want to put too much, just a little bit. Okay, so we are finished with the top part of the eyes. I'm going to go ahead and do my face. Um, I'm going to prime with my MAC Prep and Prime Natural Radiance. And then I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation um, in the color 220 Natural Beige. I just love this stuff. I use it every single day. And, um, I just don't even feel a need to use any other foundation right now because I just love the way this looks on my skin. I just pop that all over my face. And then I'm going to take my It Cosmetics. Um, it's kind of just a flat kabuki brush and blend that all in. I'm just gonna pop on some concealer. I'm using my Naked Skin um, by Urban Decay, and I have the color light. I'm just gonna. I'm almost out of this actually. I have to go pick up some more. I went um, yesterday to Ulta and I bought the um, NYX HD concealer, so I haven't tried that yet. I'm kind of interested to see how it looks on the skin because um, I have a hard time with concealers, like. Concealers are, are tough to find really, really good ones, I think. But yeah, I'm pretty much out of this, so I definitely need to go get a new one. I'm just going to highlight these little areas. Rub that in with my finger. Sometimes it's just easier to use your finger than to go, you know, damp your beauty blender or use a brush. Sometimes I just like using my finger. I'm going to go ahead and set my concealer and what should I use? What should I use? Um, I'm gonna use my Kat Von D Shade Light Palette and I'm just gonna take my Morphe Tapered, no, this is Sigma, sorry. Sigma Tapered Highlighter F35 brush and I'm going to, you can see I've used a lot of the yellow shade. I love the yellow shade, but I'm gonna dip it into the yellow shade and then also this lighter shade on the end. It's called Levi Levitation. So, I dip it in both. I'm just going to pat that under the eye. And this will just set the concealer so it doesn't crease. I'm going to go ahead and bronze the face. So, I'm going to use my Sun Club um, Essence Matte Bronzing Powder. And I'm gonna use this big fluffy brush that I have from Chanel. It's pretty old, so I'm not sure what the name of it is, but you can use any big fluffy brush. And I'm just gonna go around the edges of the face and under the chin. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and take my Ida, my NARS Ida brush, and let's see what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use the NYX um, Taupe 
high definition blush, but I'm going to use this for contour. Just a really good contour color because it's more like ashy than, you know, warm. So it's good to use it as a contour because it looks more like a shadow. Okay, so after I finished contouring, I just went ahead off camera and I put some mascara on my lashes. I used the Maybelline Eye Studio um, eyeliner for my eyelids and then I popped on some fake eyelashes. Um, so those are already done. I think the eyelashes I used were... but I'll list everything down below so you can check it out there. Um, so yeah, I have my eyelashes, eyeliner done. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do some shadow on my lower lashes, so, or my lower lash line. So I'm gonna use this MAC 212 brush. this shading brush from Real Techniques. It's just a tiny little brush like this. And I'm going to go in with this shade up top right here. It's just a really pretty shimmery um, like vanilla shade. And I'm going to be highlighting with that. So I'm going to go right under the brow bone. Also going to pop this on the inner corner of my eyes. Just for an inner corner highlight. I'm going to go ahead and um, fill in my waterline with this NYX pencil in Emerald City. Looks like this. It's just a really, really pr pretty emerald green. some mascara to my bottom lashes. I'm just going to use this NYX um, Skinny Mascara. I actually saw Casey Holmes use this and she just raves about it so I had to pick it up and try it out. It's just got like this tiny tiny little brush at the end so it's just really easy to get those like tiny little lashes. And I have very short like small little lashes for my bottom lash so it's always hard for me to get these lashes without getting mascara like all over my face. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and apply, and apply some blush. I'm just gonna use this blush that's in this Tarte palette right here. I love this blush, I use it so, so much. I'm not sure if they, um, make it in just like a single compact, but it's in the Rainforest After Dark palette and it's just the prettiest color. Now I'm gonna go ahead and highlight. I'm gonna highlight using this Mali um, Effortless Airbrush palette. So it comes with a little highlighter and a blush, but today I'm just gonna be using the highlighter, which is called Pure Light Highlighter. And I'm just gonna take my Morphe M501 brush, it looks like this. This is really, really great for highlighting because it's fluffy, but it's small, so it really can get just like the little parts of your face that you wanna highlight.
look, I wanted to do three different fall lip colors. Um, just because, I don't know, I love a dark lip, but I also like more of like a mauve lip. And then I picked up this Melted Too Faced and Melted Fig the other day, and I really wanted to try this out. So I thought this would be a really pretty color as well. So I'm going to do three different colors, and you can use really any color with this look. For the first one, I'm going to use the... Melted Fig by Too Faced. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Milani Easy Liner in Sugar Plum to line my lips. And then I'm going to use the Milani Lipstick in Sangria. The third purple color that we're going to use, the NYX Simply Vamp Color um, She Double. So I've never used this before, but I just loved the color. It's a really, really deep, dark purple, so it's perfect for fall. And yeah, so let's try this one out. third color I'm not really feeling it it's a little bit too dark for me I didn't realize how dark it was gonna be but some people like these really really dark purples so if you do then you should go ahead and get this color 